five Olympic events you probably don't know. In the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, 11,238 athletes from 207 nations competed for supremacy in 306 events. The USA eventually topped the scoreboard with 46 golds out of 121 medals. It harvested mostly in major competitive events, and even in unpopular ones like dressage and steeplechase. Say what? Yeah, they're part of the world's most heralded sports extravaganza too. So let's show some love to these lesser known events that brought out the best in our admired Olympians. Number one, dressage. Among the animals on the planet, horses are the luckiest because they take center stage and hog the spotlight in an Olympic event, the dressage. Dressage is a French term commonly translated as training. It's one of the three events under equestrian and it first became a part of the 1900 Paris Olympics. In this event, the horse is considered as much as an athlete as the rider because both are expected to perform from memory, a series of predetermined and pre-rehearsed movements. In the team event, movements such as PF, Passage, Half Pass, and Pirouette performed by the riders and horses are scored by a panel of seven international judges. The top 15 horse and rider teams then move on to the crowd-pleasing individual event, the Grand Prix Freestyle to Music. Riders and horses perform specially choreographed patterns to music, just like in Dancing with the Stars, except that half of the pair is a four-legged performer. The pair that gets the highest scores in the technical and artistic marks get the gold. Number two, race walking. Walking is one of the earliest motor activities that physically normal born babies learn to do, then running comes later. There are numerous running competitions in the world, but none is known as a competitive walking race. Not in the Olympic Games. The men's race walking event first took place in the 1908 London Olympics, while the women's event came much later in the 1992 Barcelona Olympics. Today, men compete in the 20 and 50 kilometer events and women race in the 20 kilometer mark. Considered a long distance discipline within the sports world, race walking differs from running in a peculiar way one foot must touch the ground all the time. This means that the athlete's front foot must be on the ground when the rear foot is raised. Also, the front leg must straighten when it makes contact with the ground. In the men's event, China holds the record for the 20 kilometer walk, Australia in the 50 kilometer walk, while Russia is the country to beat in the women's 20 kilometer mark. These Olympic champs must have race walked in a hurry to set new records. Number three, canoe slalom. Germany currently holds the Olympic record in the canoe slalom event for having collected 32 golds out of 70 medals won. This isn't surprising for after all, canoe slalom debuted in the 1972 Munich Games. This is one of the two disciplines of canoeing in the Olympics. The other one is canoe sprint. While canoe sprint requires the athletes to race in flat and calm waters, canoe slalom offers the competitors the thrill of racing through a course of hanging downstream or upstream gates in river rapids. The competitor who completes the course in the least possible time without being penalized for touching the gates is declared the winner. The canoe slalom event has always been performed in artificial whitewater, except in the 1996 Atlanta Olympics, wherein the Okio Whitewater Center in Tennessee became the first and only in-river venue. Number four, handball. The Olympic Games pulls millions of spectators to cheer their nations in hotly contested ball games like basketball, soccer, volleyball, baseball, and handball? It does end with the ball syllable though, right? But how come it isn't that known? Actually, handball as an Olympic event has a long history, having been introduced in the 1936 Berlin Games as an outdoor game for men. Then it became an indoor event during the 1972 Munich Games and Team Handball for Women debuted in the 1976 Montreal Olympics. It is a fast-paced game played between two teams each with seven players who dribble, pass, throw, and catch a small ball in their hands. A score is earned every time the ball is thrown into the opponent's goal, and the team that scores the highest within a two-game period of 30 minutes each claims victory. Sounds like football minus the high level of physical toughness and roughness, and it's not the foot that enables the score but the hand, obviously. Number five, steeplechase. Steeplechase is the obstacle race in the Olympic games and one of the 24 events in the athletics discipline. 
When it was introduced in the 1900 Olympics, only the men competed in two distances, 2400 and 4000 meters. Since 1920 until now, the event has been standardized at 3000 meters with 28 barriers and 7 water jumps. The steeplechase event was only open to women in the 2008 Beijing Olympics, also for the 3000 meter distance but with lower barriers. In the men's division, Kenya is the king for having amassed gold medals for nine consecutive Olympics from 1984 until 2016. Prior to 1984, the African country also dominated Olympic steeplechase in 1968 and 1972. The current record holder is Kenyan Conceslas Capruto, who set it during the 2016 Rio Games, while the record for the women's division was set by Russian Golnara Samatova Galkina in the 2008 Beijing Games. If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to our channel for your daily fix of awesome infotainment.